Today, we are overpowering an AI chatbot with League of Legends knowledge. Step number zero, we need to collect data. With a quick Google search, we can find the official champion lore and short stories. It would take a few hours to copy paste the lore, but I'm just too lazy. I thought it would be much faster to just program a bot to scrape these web pages for me. I was very wrong, because the official League page uses JavaScript to render their web pages, which makes it very difficult to scrape their data. I would need to simulate a web browser with Selenium to render the web page and parse the HTML and blah blah blah. So instead, we take the next best option, the League of Legends fan wiki. Anyways, 7 hours later, a headache and a lack of motivation, I got some things working. The wiki has a champion roster which we will use to get links to every champion's wiki page. Then we make an HTTP request to grab the HTML for each wiki page and try to parse the relevant information. I parsed the main section, pulled text from each paragraph tag, and saved it into a text file. After running the program, we are left with the text files for each champion's lore. Ideally, we would want to be able to paste all of the lore into a large language model like ChatGBT and ask a question like, which champion has the largest, juiciest orange, and it would reply with Gangplank. But these large language models have a limited context window, so this approach would not be possible. To fix this issue, we use text embeddings to find information relevant to your question. Text embeddings are fairly complicated, but in simple terms, we want a metric to be able to compare the similarity of text. Not similarity based on its character, but similarity based on meaning. For example, cat and dog share no similar characters, but a text embedding vector would place these two words close together as they are both animals with four legs, and also common household pets, and so on. We will use OpenAI's text embedding API to convert sections of the lore into vectors, and then we use a little bit of math to calculate which sections of the lore is relevant to the question. Now this is where the magic happens. We've all heard of ChatGPT, but did you know that you're able to access ChatGPT through code? It is pretty straightforward, just install a Python package and give OpenAI your money. You'll get an API key that you can use in your code to access OpenAI services. So when a user asks a question, we will convert that question into a vector and take the two most similar lore sections to provide to ChatGPT with a simple prompt. With the lore sections provided, answer the following question. After some thinking and self-reflection on its life purpose, it responds with an answer. Technically, we are done here, but that's a boring UI. Let's spice it up. Now that we have a working AI chatbot, let's turn this into a functioning web app. This requires two different servers, one server that displays the UI for the chatbot and another server to make the API calls to OpenAI. I stared at my computer for four hours trying to fix a bug. It turns out instead of e.value, I needed to type in e.target.value. One word miss costed me four hours, but I'll do it for you guys. So after some tinkering, my UI looks something like this. I am not an artist. Let's ask who killed Gangplank? Okay, it's thinking, and it answers misfortune. Now let's ask, where's Nasus from? All right, and it answers Nasus is from Shurima City. The UI is so bad, so I'll spend a little while making it look nice. Wow, this is much better on the eyes. Now that it's looking like an actual application, let's take a League lore quiz. Want to follow along? Just tally the number of questions you get correct, and we'll see if you can beat the AI chatbot. So first question, who was the champion that was found in Shrima Desert by Ezreal? Amumu. Wow, okay. So it knows, it knows a little bit. Let's try this one. Shen, Kennen, and Akali work, for, work in an order. What is the order's name? Kinko. I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. What race can we find in Bandle City? I think these are pretty easy questions, but it's kind of cool that it's even getting them correct. Okay, three for three. Who is Pantheon's childhood friend? That looks wrong, actually. Okay, it was Leona. So we missed one. What champions are from the Freljord? Nunu, Ash, Ajwani, Anivia, Trindamir, Volibear, and Trundle. So that that is correct. What is the relation between Leona and Diana? Friends? Oh, they're enemies. Okay, so it's not perfect. Why was Piltover known as the City of Progress? It had an extraordinarily low crime rate. Okay. Why did Warwick travel to Ionia? To trap Soraka. Oh, that's correct. Okay. The Void is also known as what? The Outside or the Unknown? Okay, correct. Last one, who is Kill Sister? Oh, this is an easy one. Morgana. 
and that is correct so it actually got 8 out of 10 correct let me know in the comments if you scored higher than an 8 out of 10 if you made it this far i just want to say i appreciate you thank you for watching if you have any suggestions leave it in the comments give it a like maybe subscribe but thank you for watching